and good evening to Saturday Night College Football on what is a beautiful day here in Chula Vista, California. Coming to you live from the Boar Stadium on the campus of Southwestern College. It's the one and two Saddleback Bobcats taking on the 0 and 3 Southwestern Jaguars here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. I'm looking forward to bring you tonight's action. The Bobcats are coming off with their first win of the season beating Antelope Valley 38-21. This is the second home game for the Jaguars, who lost to San Bernardino Valley 53-40 in their home opener. The Jags struggled out the gate and almost overcame a 33-point deficit in the second half. Freshman quarterback Alex Woshek had a career night throwing for 324 and four touchdowns. The defense also had a solid night with six sacks. But the goal tonight to pull out the win is to start early. I'm sure that's the goal for both programs. Jaguars will start on defense, and the defensive starters for the Jaguars, left hand Adam Morris, Andrew Sola, number 56 and number 57, two defensive tackles, two local products, Jordan Collier, Quito Fierro, Nate Rocio is the right end, linebackers Jacob Buchanan, Octavio Ramirez, and Julius Latuli Gasanoa, and the kickoff. Clear in the back of the end zone. Right corner, Demarion Smith out of Lincoln. Adrian Speedy Granderson, the free safety, also out of Lincoln. Backside safety, Herman Lewis out of Mount Miguel. Left corner, Dante Pacheco. And the right corner, Michael Boone out of Helix. So, as mentioned, last home game, the Jaguars had half a dozen sacks. Same with the here tonight. And on to the field for the Bobcats. Bobcats in the home, white unions. And Southwestern College, I love this look. The old school maroon and gold. Behind snap for the Bobcats is Trey Cookook on the season, completing 59% of his passes, 524 yards, and five passing touchdowns. Blue flag delay a game on the Bobcats. Not want to see here in the early going if you're the offense. The backfield is led by number three, Paolo Burak. 40 rushes for 193 yards, averages 64 yards per game. Has a pair of touchdowns. Pistol formation. Burak in motion. And Andrew Sola leads the way up the middle with the tackle. Along with big number 56, Jordan Collier. Sola is the captain on defense. Product out of Morris. And TFL. Actually, no gain after the false start. Second and 15, play action. Has a player over the middle. Nice grab at the 40. And picks up enough for a first down for the Bobcats. That's number two, Caleb Marshall, the product out of Orange Lutheran. On the season, Marshall, four receptions for 40 yards. Had a nice grab there for a first down. Up the middle once again, no room to be had. Leading the way on the defensive side was number 23. And that's the local product. Oh, excuse me, that's Jacob Buchanan out of Las Vegas. The TFL brings up a second and 13. The Jaguars bring six. The one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, thrown behind the intended receiver. Pass falls incomplete. The intended receiver was Marquez Edward, leading the team with 10 receptions for 200 yards and three touchdowns on the season. Leads the team in yards, receptions, and touchdowns. He's their go-to receiver. That incomplete pass bringing up a third and 13 for the Bobcats. One-on-one -on -one at the bottom of your screen and overthrows his intended receiver. That 
that was great coverage by the corner at the bottom of your screen. The local putter out of Helix, Michael Boo. And a good defensive stand for the Jaguars to start the game. The Achilles heel for this Jaguars program here through three games has been slow starts. So you love to see a good start on defense. Bobcats did pick up one first down. And a short kick bounces at the 35. And gets a Bobcat roll. Picked up at the 26, and that's where Southwestern College will start their first offensive possession. Let's get to the starters of the Jaguars. Captain, freshman, quarterback Alex Voschek, the local product out of Mar Vista. We got a two-headed backfield, Ray Flores and the Hartman Stamps. Wide receiver Savion Robinson, the other offensive captain who leads the squad. Jovan Young and Claiborne Dokes gets the start out wide. And the line, left tackle Rickard Fleck, left guard Muhammad Hassan, center Carlos Fuentes out of Montgomery, right guard Isaiah Hennecart, and right tackle Joey Magnolia. And the ball carrier Hartling Stamps out of Monta Vista gets tackled for no gain, bringing up a second and 10. Ray Flores, local product out of Southwest, and Paul Teen Stamps out of Monta Vista here in San Diego. Woshek hands it off and tripped at the 26, falls forward for a gain of one that was Stamps. Now we're up a second and nine, back-to-back -back runs for one a game of one. Stamps remains in the ball game to the right hip pocket. Savion Robinson, the leading receiver, one-on-one -on -one at the bottom of the screen with the defensive captain Wallace. They look towards Robinson. Wozczyk, smart play by Wozczyk. He was going to get rid of it. There was nothing there, decided to tuck and the sack for the Bobcats defense. Leading the way was number 34, Enrique Amposta, out of Tesora. So the Jaguars go backwards on the third down, and the three and out. Oh, the Jaguars punting. Haji Musa, the punter out of Crawford. The ball was almost tipped. But a great Jaguar roll as that will roll to the 37-38 yard line of Saddleback. And that's where the Bobcats will start their second offensive possession. So here in the early going, Kuka with one completion to number two, Caleb Marshall for a first down. Just getting started here at Southwestern College. Kuka, single back, hands it off up the middle in a wide open lane, gets in the Southwestern territory. That's Paolo Burak with a big gain. Leads the team with 193 rushing yards before tonight's contest. And the best game of the night for either side. First time the Bobcats have been in Southwestern territory. Burak, the single back. Play fake. Kuka over the top has a receiver wide open at the five and the Bobcats score early. The play action from Kukuk to Marquez Edgar. Gives the Bobcats an early six nothing lead.
play action. Got that secondary sucked up with their eyes in the backfield. Kuka with the beautiful ball. We have movement on the edge. The extra point was good. Flag on the field. We'll see if the Bobcats decline the penalty or accept it and try to go for a two point conversion. five-yard penalty on the kickoff. Making it seven nothing here in the early going. 10.51 remaining in the opening quarter. But Trey Kukuk, freshman quarterback, now has six passing touchdowns on the season. And Edgar with four receiving touchdowns on the season now. second offensive possession of the night. They went three and out on their first offensive possession. They had two rushes for one yard and a pass attempt that went for a sack. Stamps remains in the game as a single back to the left hip pocket of Woshek. Woshek, three receivers to his right. Bubble screen to the top of your screen. And brought in nicely for a good gain of 10, and that will move the chains. Jovan Young, the local product out of Mar Vista, gets a reception for 10 yards. Receivers now to the far side of Woshek. And up the middle is thrown down. That's normally a flag, but not in this situation. A solid tackle right there by number 24, the defensive captain, Travis Arena, out of Irvine, California. Normally you can't suplex guys at the college level anymore. But it was a nice tackle nonetheless. I don't mind it. That's usually not the rules. It's a great wrestling move, however. Come on, baby! Player in motion. He gets the pitch. And it's brought down near the 37. Looked like some face mask was pulled by the Bobcats defense. But the short reception by Ray Flores. Gain of two, bringing up a third and seven, 920 remaining in the opening quarter. Three receivers to the far side of the field. Woshek looks to the bottom of the screen, one on one over the top, Robinson. A lot of hands on Robinson. The ball was thrown out of bounds. There is a flag. Let's see what the call is. Yeah, I would assume they're going to decline that penalty. 
with it being third and seven. The call was holding on Isaiah Hennecar. There's a lot of hand jousting back and forth between Robinson and the corner. I think if Woshek would have given Robinson an opportunity or a chance, the flag might have been thrown, but with an uncatchable ball thrown out of bounds, it made it easier for the refs to not make that call. Haji Musa back in the punt for a second punt of the night. And the fair catch at the 33 yard line. Brought in by Chase Christner. And the Bobcats will start their third offensive possession with 8.57 remaining in the first quarter. Bobcats started their last offensive possession with a big run up the gut by Burak. And then the play action over the top to Edgar. Has his game 7-0 Saddleback. Pull off the right side, and a lot of room gets in the Southwestern Territory. And another big gain on the first play from scrimmage on their third offensive possession. That was Kenny Monacero, the freshman running back, averaging 6.6 .6 yards per carry, and bumped up that average right there on a big gain. for the screen pass, not there, rolls right and runs out of bounds for a short game. And they're gonna call it no game. Trey Kuka got flushed out the pocket with Monacero in motion. Bringing up a second and 10. Bobcats are gonna get back to the line quickly. Head off. This time off the left side, and once again, a lot of room. Monacero with another big gain on the ground. And Bobcats like what they're seeing right now. They get back on the line quickly. Monacero remains a single back. Three receivers to the right. He'll get it up, and get up the gut. And falls forward for a gain of six. So it's been the rushing attack of the Bobcats here on this third offensive possession. Second and four at the 16th. Monacero again, bounces it to the left side, gets inside the five and is pushed out of bounds near the three. Monticero with four attempts here on this drive alone. Three of those 15 plus yards. First and goal at the two. Monticero again, and this time the Jaguars defensive line rallies to the ball. Led by number 34, Mount Miguel product Herman Lewis. Led the defense in tackles early in the season. Coming up on the six and a half minute mark. Bobcats looking to increase their lead. Monticero, the single back, tries to get to the edge, nothing there, and a great job by that Jaguars defense. First to the ball was Herman Lewis, made Monticero cut up field, and the Jaguars defense rallied. Loss of five brings up a third and goal at the Jaguar nine. Bobcats are gonna get back on the ball quickly. Three receivers to the left of Kukuk. 
Kukuk looks that way. Throws to the corner, has a receiver. And Bobcats touchdown. The nine yard touchdown to Jacob Sears. Sophomore wide receiver out of Irvine, California. And Kukuk with his second passing touchdown on the night, giving Saddleback a 13-0 lead with 5.47 remaining in the opening quarter. Sears was the inside receiver, just ran a corner route to the back pylon and the Jaguar corner just unable to stay with him. Extra point is up and good. Bobcats with an early 14-0 lead here in the Cali Photo Sports Network. the Jaguars is going to look to climb out of this 14-0 hole with 5.47 remaining in the first quarter. This one bounces through the end zone and the Jaguars will come back onto the field for the third offensive possession of the night. in the first quarter. That Jaguars defense has been on the field a lot here in this early ball game. So you would love to see the Jaguars offense pick up some first downs and sustain a nice drive to rest that defense. Stamps the single back behind Wozczyk. Two receivers to the right of Wozczyk. Wojciech auto beating at the line. Has a nice hole. But closed up nicely by the Bobcats linebacker. That was Stamps. And big number 98, first one to the ball. That's Jacob Scholes, the sophomore out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Short gain of two brings up a second and eight. 520 and counting here in the opening quarter. Three receivers to the right of Wojciech. He looks that way. Goes over the middle. Has a receiver and brought in nicely with one hand. That's Joe Von Young with the big reception. You can see right there the one-handed grab inside the 40. And a gain of 35 yards for a Jaguars first down. Up the middle goes no, nowhere. Brings up a second and ten. Beautiful ball by Wozczyk. Even better grab by Young. Brought it in with one hand. One of the nicer individual plays we've seen here in this second home game of Divorce Stadium. Stamps remains a single back. He's in motion. That's actually Ray Flores gets the reception and gets inside the 30 for a gain of nine. See this one-on-one -on -one move. Nice jab step by Flores to get by that initial defender. And the Jaguars offense now with some momentum inside the 30 of Bobcats territory. Third and one, 
Wozczyk with a quick bubble screen to Robinson. And he's knocked out of bounds by Wallace. And another Jaguars first down. Robinson, the Jaguars leading receiver on the season. Love to see the ball get out of Wojciech's hands quickly. Flores remains a single back. Two receivers to the left, two to the right of Wojciech. He looks to the right. One on one over the top, and that one's thrown through the back of the end zone. Not much there, well defended by the Saddleback secondary. Alex Wojciech, the freshman quarterback out of Marvissa, can make all the throws, there's no doubt about that. Sometimes he tries to do too much. And you can't hate the young man for trying to do too much and make a play, but sometimes, like we saw in that opening possession, looked like he was gonna get rid of the ball, ball being twirled down by a defensive lineman and made the better decision of just holding on to it. Flores remains in the backfield. He gets the ball up the middle and is twirled down in top, inside the 20 for a gain of seven. Bringing up a third and three. Flores getting more touches on this drive. Gets it again off the right side and is stuffed by the D-line. Led by big number 90, the big man out of Detroit, Lassier Luter. The gain of zero will bring up a fourth and four, and the Jaguars offense will remain on the field. Or now, actually, they're gonna kick it. Jaguars gonna try to get some points on the board. Oswaldo Castillo from 35 yards out. Wide left. And a great offensive drive for the Jaguars is a new point at this point after a missed kick by Castillo. Obviously, you can look back at it now and say, you know what, we probably should have went for it, but getting some points on the board would have been nice for Southwestern. Castillo is well within his range. Had enough, just kicked it wide left. Spent, uh, you know, me just looking back on it, because that offense was running smoothly on that offensive possession, they definitely had the momentum. I'm sure that's something the coaches would go back and look at, but nonetheless, Bobcats back with the ball. And first carry of the night, that's Ezekiel Pierce, freshman out of Centennial, Colorado. Pierce with his first run. On the season, 20 rushes for 115 yards, averaging nearly six yards per carry. Pierce remains in the game. And a quick hit to him in the flats. Crosses the 35 and picks up enough for a saddleback first down. Good job by Kuka, recognizing some space in the flats. And the gain of 10 moves the chains for the Bobcats. Pierce remains in the game as a single back. Stacked to the top of Kuka, two receivers to the left of Kuka. And a nice job, Sola leading the way on the tackle for loss. Him. Right behind that was number 23, Jacob Buchanan. You can actually say the running back, Pierce, got back to the line of scrimmage, so a gain of, or no gain. Kuka had a receiver on the slant, the wheel route, and that ball's intercepted at the 50. That's the captain, Andrew Sola, returns it inside the 40. You can see right here, Kuka had a running back on the wheel, but Sola stayed with him. And there is an injury on the far side. 
Oh, a flag on the far side. We'll get to that. But a great job by the defensive captain, Andrew Sola. With 35 seconds remaining in the first quarter. See what the flag is. It was after the play. So they called unsportsmanlike conduct on Southwestern. The interception will count for Sola. Great job by the left end, staying with that running back. Not an easy task. So Sola returned it inside the 40. That ball knocked him 15 yards back, and that's where the Jaguars will start their fourth offensive possession with 35 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Woshek with the end around. They're looking to pass it, but he's going to hold on to it. Crosses into Bobcat territory. That's Joe Vaughn Young with the run. The game of 11. And the flag was thrown at the end of that play. So Jovan Young, who just made an exceptional play, is called for the unsportsmanlike conduct. So that 11-yard gain is nullified by another disappointing play after the play happened. So one step forward, two steps back for the Jaguars offense. Bring up a first and 13. Raymond Flores on the carry. Gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Tackled by number 31, Michael Amato. Actually giving Young a, or excuse me, Ray Flores a gain of four, bringing up a second and nine at the Saddleback 47. Three receivers to the left of Woshek. Woshek's gonna go deep over the top. The receiver has a step, lays out, and can't bring it in. That was Jovan Young. There is a flag on the field. And the defensive captain, Travis Arena, gets called for roughing the passer. Still another beautiful ball by Wozczyk. Just overthrew his intended receiver. Great attempt by Young laying out. And that will end first quarter action here at Divorce Stadium. It's the Bobcats 14, Jaguars 0 here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Staying with us here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. I'm Bill Furtick bringing you tonight's action here at the Boar Stadium on the campus of Southwestern College. Jaguars still looking for their first points of the night. Inside Bobcats territory. It was an interception by Andrew Sola, the local product out of Morris, giving the Jaguars their best starting field position. We'll see if the Jaguars can convert. Three receivers to the left of Woshek. Flores, the single back off the right side. Keeps his feet moving, spits two defenders, and gets inside the 20 
for a 22-yard gain. That's it. That just a little late. But a nice hole off the right side, and great job by Young and keeping his feet moving, staying upright. Great Flores, that is. Both Flores and Young having impact plays on this offensive possession. This is the fourth offensive possession for the Jaguars. Start of the first quarter. Bunch to the top side. They'll get it to Robinson. Not much room to the short side of the field. And he'll be knocked out of bounds at the line of scrimmage. It's always a tough play when you run a bubble screen to the short side of the field. Not a lot of room to work with. I'm actually going to say Robinson lost one. Bringing up a second and 11. Ray Flores remains the single back. Joe Von Young, the receiver, single side receiver on the near side of the field. Boshek will look that way. Young, 50-50 ball, falls to the ground. And fortunately for the Jaguars, that ball falls incomplete. Great coverage by the Saddleback secondary. And that coverage is number 37, Iman Hill. Sophomore. Incomplete pass brings up a third and 11 for the Jaguars. Three receivers to the far side of the field for Wozczyk. Flores remains a single back to the right hip pocket of Wozczyk. Wozczyk looks near side, pressure up the middle, and Wozczyk goes down. Leading the way, number 34, Enrique Amposta, number 55. Ryan Bethke, the freshman out of Honolulu, Hawaii. And that sack, it was a big sack for multiple reasons. One, it was a third down. And two, it almost knocked the Jaguars out of field goal range. We saw Castillo attempt a 35-yard field goal in the first quarter. Go wide left. Fourth and 19. Jaguars are going to go for it. Wozczyk throws it too high over his intended receiver. And a good drive once again stalled. From good defensive plays by the Bobcats. Start the season 0-3, you want to go out, get off to a good start, and it can be frustrating, but the Jaguars still need to be, still need to keep plugging away. Still with 12.45 remaining in the first half. The Bobcats back onto the field. Running back in motion. It's gonna be a direct snap off the left side. For the first time on the night, it's Brandon Berold, the sophomore quarterback out of White Bear Lake. Berold on the season has 12 rushes for 119 yards, averages nearly 10 yards per tote. Passing-wise, 18 of 34, completing 53% of his passes. One touchdown, one pick. Averaging 50 yards per game in the air. And the play fake by Berwald. Has a receiver near side. And the completed pass to number 13, Jacob Sears, who had the nine-yard touchdown on the second possession. And is knocked out of bounds by the Jaguars at the Bobcats 39. Nice ball right there by Burwald, the sophomore QB. This is the first offensive possession for Burwald. Hands it off. Sola, first one there. 
And the Jaguars defense rallies to the ball. Sola having an amazing game here in the first half. Just came clean up the middle and slowed down the running back for no gain. Two receivers to the left, two to the right of Burwald. Burwald looks over the middle, has a receiver on the drag route, gets inside Jaguar territory, and picks up a gain of 17. That was number 83, Will Craven, the freshman wide receiver out of Dana Point, California. Knocked out of bounds at the Jaguar, 43. Pierce, the single back, gets the ball out in the flats. Has a blocker in front of him, gets past the first down marker, bounces off his own player, gets inside the Jaguar, 20, and that's where he's brought down for a big game. Nice lead block right there. And a big game of 25. Keeps the chains moving for the Bobcats. Nice lead block by number 11, Lewis, the wide receiver. We love to see that from a wide out, leading the way for Pierce. Pierce will get the ball again, has a hole off the left side. And nice open field tackle right there. By number nine, the local product out of Helix, Michael Boone. And Pierce gets by Boone. Pierce walks in for an easy score. But the gain of seven brings up a second and three. 9.40 and counting here in the first half. And we have a timeout by the Jaguars. And we're going to take a quick break here as well here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Stay with us. Thank you for staying with us here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. I'm Bo Ferdinand bringing you tonight's action of junior college football here on Saturday night, coming to you from DeVore Stadium on the campus of Southwestern College. Saddleback inside Jaguar territory. Play fake, has a receiver open inside the five, and he'll get in for a Saddleback touchdown. The play fake from Burwald to the tight end, number 88, Seth Lyon. The sophomore out of Dana Point, California. And Saddleback now with a 20 to nothing lead out of the timeout. Point is up and good. Saddleback now up three scores with 9.29 remaining in the first half. Stay with us. Jaguars offense 
and get on the scoreboard. And have yet to have the opportunity to return it on kickoff. Brought in at the goal line and the Saddleback special teams not allowing the Jaguars to get to the 20. Jay Gordon on the return. 16 yard return gets it to the Jaguars 16. So now the Jaguars are able to sustain some drives, picking up first downs. Now they just need to find a way to punch it in. This run off the right side. Nice move to get by one defender. And defender gets his helmet knocked off. Nice run by Reed Flores. Six bringing up a second and four. Four is again near side. And the handoff goes for no gain. Kreider and Williams leading the way on the defense for Saddleback. Third and four, 840 remaining here in the second quarter. Here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Two receivers to the right of Woshek. Woshek looks near side. And great coverage at the bottom of your screen by Sterling DaCosta, the freshman out of Centennial. Love to see the Jaguars go for it, but deep inside their own territory, backed up at their own 22. Be ill-advised with 828 remaining in the second quarter, but another three and out. Haji Musa almost has his punt blocked and diving at the Jaguars 42-43 is number 22, Chase Christner, the freshman out of Aliso Viejo. Orange County area near Saddleback. And Saddleback will start their offensive possession inside Jaguar territory. I'm Bo Ferdinand bringing you tonight's action here on the campus of Southwestern College. It's been all Saddleback early for about a quarter and a half. 8.21 remaining in the second. Brandon Burwald comes back onto the field. He threw a passing touchdown to tight end Seth Lyon. That was Lyon's first reception. And that reception going for a 13-yard score. Burwald with the play fake. Has Lyon over the middle, and that ball's intercepted. Oh, and false. That ball, that ball was jarred loose. Great read by the safety, Granderson. Just unable to hold on to it. Stops at 8.14, second quarter. Burwald hands it off, bounces it off the right side, and there's a flag behind a line of scrimmage. Handoff was to Paolo Burak. And we'll check the call. The holding is on the Bobcats offensive line. That will knock them back 10 yards. Bringing up a second and 20. Oh, 
inside eight minutes here in the second quarter. Barak in motion, he'll get the ball out in the flats at the 45, gets in Jaguar territory, hops over defender. And gets back near the original line of scrimmage. You can see nice agility shown by Burak right there. The seven yard gain brings up a third and 13. At a third and 11 after the nine yard game. And movement up front. That will knock the Bobcats back five yards. Bringing up a third and 16, 728 in county here in the second quarter. Been all Bobcats here early. Two receivers to the left, two to the right of Burwald. And another flag. And back to back, all starts. Turns a third and 11 into a third and 21 for the Bobcats. Back on their side of the 50. Coming up on the seven minute mark here in the second quarter. Third and 21. Three receivers to the left or to the right of Burwald. Burwald likes the one on one, has a receiver wide open and overthrows his intended receiver. Pass falls incomplete, and that will bring on the punt team for the Bobcats. Not sure what that corner was doing on the far side of the field. Might have been a cover two, maybe. Safety had help over the top. The corner stopped running. Fortunately for Southwestern Burwald, over through his intended receiver. And the high booming punt checks at the 10 and goes out of bounds at the Jaguars 11. The Jaguars will take over there. With 6.38 remaining here at DeVore Stadium on the campus of Southwestern College. Jaguars looking for their first win. The Bobcats coming off their first win against Antelope Valley. Wojciech back on to the field. Three receivers to the far side of the field to the left of Wojciech. The handoff off the left side, breaks the tackle, stays on his feet, crosses the 25, and a nice looking run right there by Ray Flores. Breaks through three tackles, and a hard run by the local product. Looking good in that backfield here today. Flora is a dual threat running back, can also catch the ball out of the backfield. And can also pick up grounders as well. We saw that 50 plus yard rush and Woshek has a tough time on the snap. He'll throw that one out of bounds. In that home opener, Flores with the ball rolled back to Woshek, scooped and scored unconventionally on the offensive end. Normally you hear a scoop and score on the defensive side, but Flores with the heads up play, really got that scoring started for Southwestern and they're almost overcoming a 33 point deficit in that second half. Second and 10 with the ball in the Jaguar 27. Handoff off the right side to Stamps. And a short game for Stamps. 
leading the way was number 30, Deshaun Baker, the sophomore out of Texas. Stuffs the run for a gain of one. Coming up on five and a half minutes here in the second quarter. Saddleback 21, Southwestern zero here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Three receivers to the left of Wozczyk. Looks like Hamadi Sharif into the game for the first time today. Over the top, jump ball. And Jovan Young just has to play defensive back and break that ball up. Young a bit frustrated. Felt he had a step on the corner. And that incomplete pass will bring up a fourth and nine. And that will bring on the punt team for the Jaguars. Still too early with 5-12 remaining in the first half, even though Jaguars are down 21. They don't want to give up the ball this deep in their own territory. And let alone fourth and nines are not easy to convert. Musa, and the snap goes over his head. And Musa goes through the back of the end zone for a Bobcat safety. And obviously looking back, playing devil's advocate. Hey, after that, you might as well go for it, but it was the right call in the end. Just unfortunately, Jaguars unable to execute on special teams. It was really their first special teams blunder on the night. And the safety will bring on the kickoff team for the Jaguars. Saddleback will get good field position again. As Haji Musa A nice running start. Ball near midfield. Returner gets near the 50 and is brought down at the 50. Nice special teams coverage by the Jaguars right there. On the return was Jackson Hagopian at a Jesuit. It's tackled at midfield. And the Jaguars defense will have to make another stop here with 5.01 remaining in the first half. Two receivers on the far side of the field for the Bobcats. Kukuk back in the game, hands it off off the left side. And Montesero falls forward for a gain of seven. Kukuk has two passing touchdowns on the night. Had a deep ball to Edgar to start the scoring and hit Jacob Sears in the corner of the end zone on a nine yard score. It's Montesero again off the left side, has a nice hole. And once again, pulls his way forward for another saddleback first down. Montesero on that second touchdown drive had four big runs and here's another nice gain by Montesero. The Jaguars not getting to Montesero within five yards of the line of scrimmage. A lot of steam ahead for the big back. Kenny Montesero out of Mission Viejo stands five foot ten, 
210 pounds. Before tonight, average six and a half yards per carry. And Montesero needed three for a first down, picked up two, bringing up a third and one with 3.30 remaining here in the second quarter. Monticello remained the single back next to Kukuk. Movement up front. This might be a free play. One on one over the top. Pass falls incomplete to Caleb Marshall, but the flag was thrown. And it looks like all indications say offside Southwestern. Offside. Defense. Heads up play by Kukuk. Tried to find Marshall on the free play. And the five yard penalty will bring up a first down for Saddleback. First and 10 at the Jaguar 22. Two receivers out of the pistol formation. The play fake, Kuka rolls left, has his receiver wide open in the end zone, and that's another Bobcat touchdown. Nice play fake, gets the defense, rolling one way, plants his feet, and throws a strike to number 16, Dane Benedicts. His first reception of the night at the Capistrano Valley. And reception goes for a 22-yard touchdown. Third passing touchdown for Kukuk on the night. Extra point is up and good, and Saddleback now with a 30 nothing lead over the Jaguars. Say with us here at the Cali Fellow Sports Center. Thanks for staying with us here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. It's been all Bobcats here in the first half as they lead the Jaguars 30 to nothing after the 22 yard touchdown pass from Kukut to Benedicts. 308 remaining in the second. Kukut has now three passing touchdowns on tonight, giving him eight on the season. And Saddleback special teams once again not allowing Southwestern to get to the 20. Back-to-back -back possessions, the Jaguars will start at their own 16. Let's see if the Jaguars can put one in with 3.08 remaining. They've put together some quality drives, just unable to put the finishing touches on it. Two receivers to the right of Rosecheck in this pistol formation with the wing back. The handoff, Flores tries to spin off a tackler and is brought down after a short gain of two. Now under three minutes remaining here in the first half. Flores remains a single back. Next to Welsh check, two receivers now at the bottom of your screen. Flores this time off the left side. 
gets tripped up and gets back to the line of scrimmage. Or actually, I'll take that back. They're at their 18, got to the 22 for a game of four. Now, on the two minute mark. Third and short. And Southwestern doesn't like what they see, so they will call a timeout. We'll take a quick break here as well. Here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. with us here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Big third and four with 157 remaining in the first half. Jaguars don't want to give Saddleback the ball back. Woshek had difficulty on the snap. Throws to the far side and overthrows his intended receiver, Savion Robinson. And the put team goes onto the field for the Jags. Another three now for the offense. Back to return for the Bobcats. Chase Christner, a freshman out of Aliso Niguel in the Orange County area. 151 on the clock. Snap is good. Musa on the punt. Nice booming punt from Musa. The fair catch. As Christner falls to the ground. At the Saddleback 43. The Jaguars defense back on the field. We're going to see what this Southwestern team is made of. Down 30 with 143 remaining. See how big the heart of this program is. Two receivers to the left, two to the right for Kuka. Jaguars bring four. Kuka looks deep, steps up in the pocket, has a receiver at the 40, and a nice pass. Or oh, actually, no, he brought that in. A great grab right there by number 14, Marcus Edgar. Excuse me, who had that big touchdown reception to start the scoring for the Bobcats. Nice throw by Kukuk on the run. Near side. Did Edgar get his foot in? No, he didn't. Right on the line. Edgar brought it in. Just unable to get a foot down. State three receivers to the wide side of the field for the Bobcats. Kuka, Edgar one on one at the bottom of the screen. Kuka, pressure, and he can't get away. Once again, Andrew Sola, the Morris product, working off a double block, and Sola fights his way through for a big sack. Bringing up a third and 16 for the Bobcats. 50 seconds and counting. Kuka has a receiver double. And a receiver at the 30. Gets inside the 20. And the reception by Sears. Having a big first half. 
and a timeout is called by the Bobcats. And Sears with a deep drag across the field creates some space from that Jaguars secondary in a big third and 16 conversion for the Bobcats. Nice job by Kukuk, keeping that play alive with his legs, just creating some time to allow his receiver to get to the near side of the field. Timeout was called after the big third down conversion. Clock stops at 38.3. With the ball at the Jaguars 17. Kuka still in the game with Pierce in his right hip pocket. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Kuka. Looks right, has Pierce in the flat. And the ball too hot to handle for Pierce. Goes through his hands to bring up a second and 10. The Bobcats have had success with the running backs getting open in the flats. Edgar and Sears, the two receivers to the right of Kuka. Pierce remains a single back. Kuka rolls right. He's gonna tuck and run and gets out of bounds inside the 15. And the clock keeps rolling. The home field advantage, unfortunately, is caught. It's not the clock guy's fault, but nonetheless, just trying to help out, nothing wrong with that. No home field advantage. But the Bobcats were on it. Kuka, one on one, the back shoulder. And the flag is thrown. Looks like a defensive pass interference. intended receiver was Rawls. Uh, we have an injured Jaguar. shoulder gets called for the defensive pass interference. And the ball lies at the Jaguars six yard line with 23 seconds remaining. Pierce remains in the game as a single back. Three receivers to the right of Kuka. Kukuk will go to the one-on-one, -on -one, the back shoulder fade, and touchdown, Bobcats. Andres Lewis with the receiving touchdown. And the Bobcats now up 36 to nothing here at the end of the first half. Kukuk. Now with four, plus four passing touchdowns on the night here in the first half. Extra point is up and good. And with 18.6. Remaining in the first half, it's Saddleback 37, Southwestern 0, here on the Cali Photo Sports Network.
drive kick brought in at the five. See if the Jaguars can get a good return here. Across the 20 to the 25. And a late flag. The return by Jay Gordon. Return to 20 yards. Looks like the Pelony will add 15 yards. With the unsportsmanlike conduct on the special teams of the Bobcats. We have two unsportsmanlike conduct calls. Number 54. First down. On number 91 and 54, so that will add 30 yards to the return of the Jaguars, which takes them to the Saddleback 44. Unfortunately for the Jaguars, there's only 10 seconds remaining. So they might have time for they definitely have time for one throw. They have one timeout left, so they can throw it wherever they want, whether it be the middle of the field or the sidelines. They can call a quick timeout, possibly get in field goal range and get some points up. Roshek back in the game, three receivers to the right of the freshman quarterback. Roshek looks over the middle, throws near side, one-on-one -on -one in double coverage. And that ball is intercepted by the Bobcats. Great job by the safety coming over the top. That was number 33, Jackson Hogopon. Scratch that. Let's do Jackson Hogopian out of Jesuit. Or Jesuit. I don't know what slice or dice it. Nonetheless, Saddleback with their best first half of the season. Up 37-0 and finished that first half with an exclamation point. And that will take us to halftime. Saddleback 37, Southwestern zero here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Just a reminder, Jaguars were down 33 in their home opener and made it a game. We're hoping to see more of that here in the second half. Stay with us.
And thanks for staying with us here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. Back with you, second half action here at Divorce Stadium on the campus of Southwestern College. It was all saddle back early, but there were a few bright spots on the offensive side for the Jaguars. Ray Flores had a solid first half. The Jaguars offense, they were able to sustain some quality drives, just unable to punch it in. They did have a field goal wide left. Let's see if the special teams can cross the 20. And that is not gonna happen as the Bobcats rally to the kick returner. Jay Gordon, who gets up to the Jaguars 12. Definitely a gut check and a punch in the face. Let's see how the Jaguars can respond. Knocked down in the first half, but two weeks ago, the Jaguars were down 33 to start the second half against San Bernardino Valley and brought it all the way back to 13, ended up losing that one 53-40. See how they respond here today. Stamps, the single back. Hitch route, caught near the 20. Another one of those bright spots in the first half. Had a few receptions. Brings that one in for an eight yard gain. Three receivers to the far side. Moshek looks that way. The ball's loose. And thankfully, Jaguars pounce on it. Wolchek didn't like his initial read. And the sack brings up a third and seven. Ray Flores remains in the game as the single back. Robinson. Jaguars leading receiver, the inside receiver here in the flats. Gets it near the 18 and is thrown out of bounds by defensive captain Kyle Wallace out of Mission Viejo. Nice shot by Wallace. Not allowing Robinson to get any, to get any yards after the catch. And another three and out for the Jaguars offense. Chase Christner, standing at the Jaguars 45, brings it in at the 45. Cuts back, has some space, and some blockers in front, gets inside the 20, and is brought down at the Jaguar 15. A return of 30 yards by Christner, his best of the night. Christner did a good job of sidestepping a few would-be tacklers. And had a caravan in front, thankfully, for the Jaguars. Giovanni Barrios threw him out of bounds, but not before a Return of 30. Brandon Burwald back into the game. And starting running back, Burak, the single back. He'll get it up the middle and gets in for a Bobcat touchdown. 15 yard touchdown by Burak. First offensive play for Saddleback. Goes in for a score. First rushing touchdown 
for the Bobcats. And all six extra points, good. Bringing the score 44-0, Saddleback. Twelve thirty-one remaining in the third quarter here on the Cali Photo Sports Network. drag route off the play action. Edgar with a touchdown, Jacob Sears with a touchdown, Seth Lyon, Benedicts, and Andres Lewis. So five different receivers, each with a touchdown for Saddleback. And one of the better returns for Southwestern. And there's a scuffle on the Jaguar sideline. Some juice, it's the most juice we've seen from Southwestern all night. You gotta keep your heads on straight though. Down 44. Can't talk much. Now let your action do the talking. No flag was thrown after the scuffle. Turn brought out to the Jaguars 34 yard line. Claiborne Dokes, the slot receiver to the left of Woshek, two receivers to the left, two to the right. Saddleback rushes four. Quick hit near side to Jovan Young. Young picks up 12 for Jaguars first down. Young. Having a good game here tonight. Has about a handful of grabs. Had a nice one-handed grab in the first half. That was the Jaguars' best offensive play. Back to Young at midfield. Completion of four. Back-to-back -back completions from Wojciech to Young, both South Bay products here in the Chula Vista South Bay area. Jaguars going to stay in this double double formation with the single back to the right of Wojciech. The delayed handoff. Flores breaks a couple tackles and falls forward for a gain of five. Bringing up a third and three. Looks like the jumbo package on for the Jaguars. As Ray Flores trots back in. Andrew Sola. The hand off to Flores. And Flores fights forward for a gain of two. Sola and big number 94, Keon Jackson, the defensive tackle. Oh, they're gonna give Flores enough for the first down. I'm gonna say he's stretched out for that extra yard. And they're gonna bring that jumbo package back on. Sola and Flores. Timeout after the first down by Southwest. We're going to take a quick break here as well. Stay with us on the Cali Photo Sports Network.
most energy we've seen from the Jaguars all night. See if it, they can convert that into a score here. Jumbo package back onto the field. Jackson and Sola leading the way up front. Flores again off the left side. Breaks the initial tackle and gets inside the 40. For a gain of four. Bringing up a second and six. At the Bobcats 39, they're gonna stay in this jumbo package. Yeah, snap it quickly. Flores off the left side again. Spin move gets inside the 35. And a flag from the back judge in the secondary. And because of the quick snap by the Jaguars, Saddleback gets called with a substitution infraction. And Jaguars gonna stay in this jumbo formation with Jackson and Sola leading the way once again off the left side. And bounces it to the sideline. That's once again Ray Flores. Three rushes in that jumbo formation. But it was Flores and Young, the bright spots in that first half. They're gonna run the same play again. Flores falls forward for a short game. Looks like he'll pick up enough for a Southwestern first down. Flores looks gassed right now. Hands on his knees. The play fake. Woshek, nothing downfield. Flag is thrown in the backfield. Woshek tucks and runs. It's inside the Saddleback 20. Not before a flag is thrown. Ten yards, bringing up a first and twenty. It's four down territory. All team stamps back into the game as a single back to the right hip pocket of Wojcik. Stamps is stuffed in the backfield, led by number forty-eight Jordan Springer, the sophomore out of Texas. TFL bringing up a second and 21 for the Jaguars. Young will switch sides to the far side of the field. Young, Robinson, and Dokes in the bunch formation. Wojciech hits Young in the flats. Ooh, and he is clocked near the original line of scrimmage. Great job by Moshe getting rid of the ball quickly, hitting his receiver in the chest. It's been a good night for Young. He continues to provide a source on offense.
Now we'll take the ball to the Jaguars, or excuse me, to the Bobcats 13 yard line. Jovan Young, the single side receiver at the bottom of your screen. Two receivers to the right of Woshek. Woshek will hand it off up the middle. And a nice hole. Jamar Haynes with his first rushing attempt on the night for a gain of six. Haynes will remain in the game. Haynes this time off the right side, and a flag is thrown. Two penalty flags at the line of scrimmage and in the backfield. Which usually means. Sometimes when you bounce that run to the outside, you get a defender to follow. And the offensive line expecting a run in between the tackles. Tries to stay with the defender, but unable to. And that's probably where the holding call was made. Not the Jaguars back 10 yards, bringing up a second and 14. Now with seven minutes and counting here in the third quarter. Dokes and Young to the left of Woshek. Two receivers to the right as well. And Woshek overthrows his intended receiver, Dokes. The clock stops at 6.39 here in the third quarter. No doubt this is four down territory, down 44. So even if you could get half of the 14, that would be nice for the Jaguars. Jovan Young, one on one. Woshek, the play fake, he's looking Young's way. The jump ball, and I saw some jersey being tugged. Young, asking for it as well. I mean, he had the position. I'm surprised nothing was called right there. The coverage was by Iman Hill, out of Colorado, Georgia. Incomplete pass brings up a fourth and 14. Dokes and Young to the left of Woshek. Ray Flores back in the game. And Southwestern is going to have to call their second timeout on this possession. Lopez comes on for the 34 yard field goal. So much for four down territory. Jaguars just want to get on the board. Lopez up and true, and Jaguars on the board. 6.27 remaining in the third quarter. Jaguars get their first points, and Lopez knocks one through from 34 yards out. We're going to take a quick break here on the California Sports Network. Stay with us. Rock it! 
Well, it's nice to see Jaguars get on the board. The first time today, 6.27 remaining in the third. Oswaldo Castillo on for the kickoff. And the short kick brought in at the 30. With a lot of momentum moving forward. And a nice return by Iman Hill as he dives at the 50. I'm not sure why the Jaguars players are talking about that. Bobcats offense comes back onto the field. Five passing touchdowns and a rushing score for the Bobcats. And off the middle, bounced to the right side, and that's kickoff returner Chase Christner with his first rushing attempt on the night. Six now with six minutes remaining here in the third quarter. And the throw in the flats at the 45. And twirled out of bounds near the first down marker. Brought in by number 86, Pierce Tong Hall, the freshman out of San Juan Capistrano. Attended Jay Sarah the program, the southern section. Handoff up the middle, hit in the backfield, and gets back to the line of scrimmage. That's Christner again. On for the first time today, quarterback number 10, Joey Gentilella, the sophomore out of Huntington Beach, California. It's the first time all season Gentilella has seen some playing time. Good time for a program to get these guys on the depth chart. Some run and some video. Possibly keeping their career going at the college level. Gentilella with the QB sneak. Picks up a first down. Six foot five, 200 pound sophomore quarterback. Chase Christner, the single back. Two receivers to the right of Gentilola. Christner off the left side, plants his foot, gets upfield for a nice gain of six. Christner on the season also getting his first Rushing attempts in the backfield. He's had a couple nice pump returns, so I'm sure Saddleback coaches are just giving him a bone after a couple nice returns on special team. We have a flag before the snap. for a second and nine with 351 remaining in the third. Two receivers to the left, to the right of Gentilella. Hill to the left, has a receiver over the middle. And the ball is deflected. Ball is incomplete. Tried his receiver on the drag, throwing a little bit behind him. Jaguars defense was there. Clock stops at 3.37. Once again, double-double formation for Gintalella. Looks like the Jaguars are gonna come out in man-to-man -man formation. 
Edge rusher hits Christner in the flats, has some space to roam, and run getting inside the 30. Right at the first down marker. Nice shot by Christner. They're gonna say he was just... Well, they're gonna say he got enough. Christner had, had a nose. So that first down marker got just enough. Three receivers to the left of Gentilella. Christner up the middle. It's twirled down for a short game. Number 47, Julius Latuli Gasanoa, local product out of Helix. And it's happened. Gain of four by Christner. Bringing up a second and six under three minutes remaining here in the third. And the ball brought in near the 20, inside the 15. Receiver standing at five foot eight, 175 pounds. His first reception on the night. He's a slot receiver on the right side. Christner up the gut. Brought down near the Jaguars' 10 yard line. Christner getting some good work out of the backfield here in the third quarter. With Saddleback up 41. Craven remains the slot receiver this time to the left of Gentilella. Fullback Josiah Niblet in the pistol formation. Play fake. Gentilella, nothing there. Jaguars did not fall for the play action. Good job coming off the edge right there. And the incompletion, bringing up the third and eight with 133 remaining in the third. And two Jaguars jumping, a free play, jump ball. And that one thrown through the end zone. Passing play, try to get to the quarterback, but well, was unable to hold his water. And offsides, bringing up a third and three. Gets to Lola. Hands it off to Christner, gets inside the five, and knocked backwards. Looks like he got to the first down marker. Was it enough? Needed to get to the two. Seconds. One yard short. Come on, Ralph, you gotta call that. You gotta call that, Ralph. And the Bobcats gonna bring on the field goal team. First field goal attempt on the night for the Bobcats. And the 20 yard field goal. Up and good. Fructe with the 20 yard field goal. Up and good. Sends the lead back to 44. He's been solid on the night. Six of six on extra points. And 
and just converted on a 20 yard field goal with 37 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. on the kickoff. Kicks it to the Jaguar five. And trying to bring it to this side of the field. And gets across the 20, but not much more after that. The return by Jay Gordon. 16 yard return. Five to 21. Back in the game. Quick bubble screen to Jovan Young. Makes a defender miss. Saddleback tried to strip the ball from him. And Young with a 19 yard gain. Young keeps improving on his night. He has to be over 100 yards by now. Six, seven receptions, maybe eight. Young gets another one. Oh, can't bring it in. Are oh, they saying that was a completion fumble? Wow, they were saying that was a completion? That was the end of the third quarter. by Jovan Young. And that will end third quarter action. Stay with us here on the Kelly Forest Sports Center. Jovan Young after that last reception, fumble recovery. Put Saddleback in another great scoring position. And a quick hit near side to the running back in the flats. That's Christner. Runs out of bounds. To the Jaguars 16. A 10 yard gain. Another first down for the Bobcats. Christner getting some good work here in the second half. First touches out of the backfield for Christner. Only works on special teams. Joey hits Lella. Christner in motion. Hands it off to Niblet. Sophomore running back standing at 5 foot 11, 210. Marshfield High School. First and 10 at the Jaguar 14. Christner tries to bounce left, cuts up field. Gain of four, brings up a second and six.
Christner off the left side. Gets to the edge. Gets upended. Diving inside the 10. For a short gain. Down and five at the Jaguars nine. Then to Lilla. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Looks like the Jags are going to bring the house, playing man to man coverage on the outside. They do. Got to get rid of it. Get to Lilla does. Gets knocked down. And the fall, the pass falls incomplete. Granderson on the coverage. And the kicking unit back onto the field for Saddleback. Keen Afrukte, the freshman out of Dana Point. Afrukte, 26 yard field goal is good. That will send the Saddleback lead. So Afrukte. Two of two on his field goal attempts. And six of six on his extra points having a solid night here for Saddleback. And the turnover leading to more points for the Bobcats. Now at 50 to three. See if Southwestern can get in the end zone here with 12.42 remaining in the fourth quarter. has shown the ability to kick it through the end zone, but the special teams coverage by the Bobcats, when he's not kicked it in the end zone, has been good. Kick near side. This is Jake Gordon. And the fumble, thankfully, goes out of bounds. Jaguars will keep possession as the ball rolls out at their own 26 yard line. There is a flag on the field. Thrown at the 31. Six yard line. Still looking for their first touchdown of the night. Wojcik near side to Savion Robinson. His first grab here in the second half. Gets to 33 for a gain of seven. A second and three. They're calling it a gain of eight. Uh, looks like the ball is lining up at 33. Nonetheless, second and short. Coming up on the 12 minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Woshek looks left. Four and Woshek loses the ball, scooped up by the Bobcats. Gets inside the 20. Good job right there by the receiver. Not allowing Brian Chubin, the freshman out of University High School in Irvine, California. It's every big man's dream to try to scoop and score. Just lost that ball right there. 
Another turnover for Southwestern. Gives the Bobcats great field position at the 10. And Christner fights for a couple. Injury on the field. We'll take a quick break here on the Kelly Photo Sports Network. Stay with us. It looked like an ankle injury. Keon Jackson being taken off the field on a stretcher. Does not look good for the big defensive tackle. Tough to see one of your better D linemen go out at this point in the game. Especially with the depth of Southwestern being so low as it is. Quarterback for the Bobcats. Hey, watch out. Got the Receiver in motion, the pitch. And then we brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Receiver jump ball and a flag throw. Saw a lot more pass interference on that previous one on Jordan Young. The ball was not even catchable. Thrown out of bounds. Interference occurring in the end zone that will bring the ball to the two yard line 
for a first and goal. That was Schroeder Ditch, the intended receiver, out of Chabuca Hills. And Jaguars defensive line. Coming up big on the first and goal. Number 73, Aldrich Allback out of Tijuana, Mexico. Tackle for loss brings up a second and goal at the six yard line. Bring the single back. Sophomore. Gonna go jump ball near side again. And thrown out of bounds. Once again, the intended receiver, Schroeder Ditch. Six foot five receiver. Out of Tribuca Hills. Incomplete pass. Stops the clock at 10.01. Bringing up a third and goal. Looks like the Jaguars are going to bring the house again. They do one on one on the outside. The slant over the middle and broken up by Michael Boom. Nice to see him back in the game after he injured his shoulder. Field goal attempts. This one from 23 yards out. And Afrute has been perfect on the night. Three of three on his field goal attempts and six of six on his extra points. And he's having a good game tonight, extends the lead. For Saddleback. The Jaguars do defense doing a better job inside the red zone. As a Fructe didn't have any field goal attempts in that first half. Every time the Bogpats got in red zone territory, they scored a touchdown. Nine fifty remaining here in the fourth quarter. It's been all saddleback from the jump. A fruit tank. Also the kicker on kickoff. Ball will go through the end zone. time today. Woshek's night is done. Picks up the snap. Breaks a few tackles, still on his feet. And picks up a short game. Jao Arede, the freshman quarterback, standing at six foot four, 200 pounds, at an IMG Academy in Florida. Get a player from Florida, let alone from IMG Academy. 
I know in the early 2000s, there used to be a lot of Florida products that would continue their college career at Southwestern. I read it, three receivers to his left. Holds on to it. And not much there. Held on to that ball a little too long. But there wasn't much downfield for Reddit. Incomplete pass stops the clock at 8.51. Jaguars first down, Saddleback saying the ball was loose. And then we have another player down on the field. That's Andrew Sola. He was the up back in that goal line formation. Take a quick break here on the Kelly Photo Sports Center. Interception in that first half has definitely been an impact player on the defensive side for the Jaguars. Comes off the field with some assistance. And Giovanni Barrios, Gio, the local product out of Chula Vista High School, the single back. Already with two receivers to the left and to the right. Gio on the delay off the right side. Gets to the 40 for a short gain of three. Helped the Spartans to a league title last year as a senior. Seven and a half and counting here in the fourth quarter. Barrios remains in the game. Savion Robinson, the single side receiver at the bottom of your screen. Seven minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Barrios up the middle again. With a short gain of one. And we have some drawing at the end of the play. 
Frustration is definitely set in for the Jaguars. And now a flag is thrown. Southwestern a first down. Brings the ball inside plus territory. Ball lies at the Saddleback 44 yard line. Barrios remains in the game as a single back. Barrios off the right side. Oh, scratch that. Number 41, Jamar Haynes. The freshman out of Bonita Vista. Setting at 5'10", 195 pounds. Second and eight, after the game of two. And Red A had difficulties bringing in the snap. And leading the way for Saddleback was linebacker Chad De Silva, the freshman out of Alyssa Miguel. Alyssa Miguel. Loss of two brings up a third and ten. Looks left, has a receiver over the middle, and that ball knocked away, but not before a flag is thrown in the secondary. The coverage by Dallas White, freshman defensive back out of Jay Sarah. Defensive pass interference, saying White to the receiver before the ball did. Another first down for the Jaguars. Obviously this game is well out of reach, but it'll be nice to see the Jaguars put one in after a tough game tonight. Just something to build off on. The ball team stamps the starting running back back in today. He's brought down near the line of scrimmage. Big number 98, Jack Scholes, the defensive lineman standing at six foot one, 240 pounds out of the Classical Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Once again, the Jaguars will be back home next week. Kickoff at 6 p.m. as they take on Fullerton. The pitch to the receiver in motion that dokes his first touch on the night. His first reception as well. Under four minutes remaining here in the fourth. Barrios and Stamps. Barrios looks like he'll be the slot receiver at the top of your screen. Stamps, the single back. Three thirty and counting here in the fourth quarter. Third and nine with the ball at Saddleback twenty-seven. Okay. You can't see that big pocket in front of you. Okay. 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 
Another call of fucking game. will knock the Jaguars back five yards, bringing up a third and 14. Stamps remains in the game as the single back. Barrios in motion, they fake to him. Going over the top, near side, in the end zone. And goes through the intended hands, or goes through the hands of Robinson, who was the intended receiver. Brings up a fourth and 14 with 305 remaining. Here in regulation. Timeout. Saddleback will call timeout. We'll take a quick break here on the Cali Photo Sports Network stage. Tonight's action here on the Cali Photo Sports Network, 305, fourth and 14. And they're punting it. Southwestern will drop to 0 and 4. And Saddleback, after starting the season 0 and 2, had a victory against Antelope Valley last weekend, and with the win tonight, get back to 500. Saddleback will. Go back home where they are one and one. They will get Mesa on youth football night. following schedule for the Jaguars. As this one's bounced to the outside, crosses the 35, stays on his feet and is knocked out of bounds near midfield. Nice run by Josiah Niblett, the sophomore running back, standing at 5 foot 11. Out. 
Coming up on a minute here in regulation. It's been all settled back. Get to Lilla. Bounce off the right side. Gets up field and Niblet will have enough for a first down. And that should end tonight's contest as Saddleback with the convincing victory, 53-30 over the Southwestern Jaguars. Jaguars fall to 0-4 on the season and Saddleback gets to two and two. After starting the season 0-2 and, and winning their last two, Saddleback will get a home game against Mesa next week. And Jaguars will stay at home with a game against Fullerton. Kickoff at 6 p.m. And it doesn't look like either side will shake hands and that win tonight's contest here at the Boar Stadium as the Jaguars fall to Saddleback 53-30. Make sure you catch up with us next week, Saturday night, kickoff at 6 p.m. as the Jaguars will take on Fullerton. Good night, everyone. Go, go, bro, look at the scoreboard!